Hey everyone, this is Ethan. It's been over half a year since Pokemon Legend ZA has been announced, and for the first time in a decade, the Pokemon company has been completely silent about these games. Which leaves me more time to think about my deepest and darkest thoughts, like Pokedex entries and what happened to my smile and my will to live. Where are they now? Gone. But in all seriousness, we're going to do something different here on the channel. We're going to speculate 10 potential mega evolutions we might see in Pokemon Legends ZA. I know a lot of people have looked at the leaks to determine what we might see, but for this video, we're going off patterns based on Pokemon's recent history, like what archetypes they've explored so far, or what regions they've given most attention to. And with the rules out of the way, let's get started. Let's launch! <laughs> Starting things off with the big guy, Mega Dragonite, or Colossian Mega Dragonite. Keep in mind, every pseudo-legendary up until Generation 7 has been featured in a gimmick one way or another. It could be a regional form, a Gigantamax form, a Paradox form, or a Convergent species, and with Dragonite being far behind from its successors, I say it's very possible we'll see Dragonite obtain a Mega Evolution. Next is the psychic duo Gothitella and Reuniclus. Now that enough time has passed for later generation Pokemon to obtain gimmick forms, I can not only see Unova being visited, but based on the other duos like Pinsir and Heracross or Salamence and Tyranitar who have received Megas, the possibilities are endless, and these are the two first Pokemon that come to mind. I can see Gothitella becoming a fighting psychic type while Reuniclus becomes a psychic fairy. I mean, come on, just look at the little guy. He's adorable. Next is Mega Crocodile. Same thing I said about Gen 5 Pokemon possibly obtaining Mega Evolutions, but Sandile is one of the natives to the Kalos region. And with how popular Crocodile has become over the years, it's only a matter of time before this Pokemon receives a gimmick form, especially a Mega. Heck, I could see them changing its type to a Ground Dragon type. How awesome would that be? Next is a Pokemon who's long overdue with gaining its Mega Evolution, Mega Jinx. In the files of Pokemon Home, there's an unused Jinx cry that many people have long speculated and now confirmed that Jinx was originally supposed to get a Mega. But I could see Pokemon pulling the biggest 180 here and not just giving Jinx a Mega Evolution, but a Kalosian Jinx. Considering how a regional Farfetch evolved into Surfetch, I don't think it's out of the cards for Pokemon to not only give one of their remaining Kanto Pokemon a regional form, but its own Mega Evolution. But what would a regional Jinx, let alone its Mega, be like? Well, that's a topic for another day. Now there's a ton of Pokemon from Johto who have already received Mega Evolutions or their own regional and Paradox forms in recent generations. But you know who hasn't received a gimmick form? Wobbuffet. With how popular this Pokemon has become because of the anime nonetheless, it's only a matter of time before Wobbuffet is received some love. And a Mega Wobbuffet makes most sense. I can see its tail consuming Wobbuffet to eventually become a psychic ghost, just because of who Wobbuffet is based on. The Japanese comedian Hayashiya Senpai. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you can see what I'm cooking here. <laughs> Circling back to the Johto region, we have Mega Sudabudo. For the same reasons I stated about Wobbuffet, its Mega seems pretty obvious since I can see them branching out into a much bulkier tree, or potentially a whole forest. Considering Brassius, Terror types, and Sudabudo into a grass type, I feel they may have been hinting something here, but that's just me. Next is Mega Crobat, or perhaps a Colossian Golbat. The Zubat line is one of the few Cantonian and Jotian Pokemon who has not been featured in a gimmick quite yet. With the immense love some people have for Crobat, not to mention it's another native to the Kalos region, it would freshen things up for a Colossian Golbat or Crobat to receive a Mega Evolution. Circling back one more time to the Univer region, we have Mega Gigalith. With Gigalith being another Kalos native, it lives in Reflection Cave, an area you can find Karbik and Deontay. With the many mirrors and crystals glowing about, I can see Gigalith not only obtaining a regional form to reflect what this cave could have been centuries ago, but I can see a mega evolution and probably taking on a more rainbow appearance. You know, this kind of alludes to another buddy of mine. Chromastone! 
nonetheless i know we're most likely not going to go to reflection cave in legend za so i'm sure they'll find a way to reference this in some shape or form and this is the perfect pokemon to do this with and the last one for this video is a Pokemon who comes from a couple generations after X and Y, who I think perfectly fits with the Kalos region, Mega Cleaver. With Duraludon and Applin receiving new evolutions in the Scarlet and Violet DLC, it isn't out of the cards for somebody from Generation 8 to be featured here as well. With Cleaver being a common Pokemon evolution of the past, and considering Scizor also has a Mega Evolution, this is the Pokemon who makes the most sense to have a Mega Evolution for Legends ZA. Assuming the games take place in the past like Legends Arceus, which they wouldn't have called it Legends if it didn't take place in the past. A lost Pokemon of the past makes sense to have a Mega in these games, and considering Cleaver is about to play a role in the anime, I don't think this is a Pokemon that's out of the realm of possibility, or somebody we should be sleeping on just yet. And those are the 10 Mega Illusions I suspect might appear in Pokemon Legends ZA. If you want to see more speculation videos like this one, please be sure to let us know in the comments, and if you want to check out our other Pokemon related content, check out our Pokemon Horizons reviews with new episodes dropping every week. Well, except tomorrow because of the Olympics. I totally forgot that was going on. That's all for now. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, stay gold.